Hi, I'm Josh from Zenata Consulting. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up user roles and permissions in Zoho Creator. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing below. Thanks and enjoy. Inside of Zoho Creator, we have a few different ways to control the user's permissions. Uh, one, we have permissions, but we also have roles as well. So roles and permissions, they're two different uh, things to look at. A permission is what the user is able to do within the application, so application-specific settings. And then roles control what the user is able to see, what records they're able to see. So those are uh, record sharing settings. So again, roles, record sharing, and permissions, application uh, permissions. Within permissions, when we get started within an application, we have two default permissions that are added. We have write and read. We can think of this as standard versus admin, read only is standard. So I usually come in here and I change it from read to standard. And read permissions give very basic permissions. Uh, so we only have access to view uh, some of the default uh, reports that were created. None of the custom reports are given access and they don't have access to view any of the forms. So really it's, it's bare bones for, for standard. And then if we look at the right permissions, which I come in and I change it to admin, we can see admin by default has many more permissions. So let's just look at what these permissions are and uh, let's uh, how to modify them per user set. So within these columns, we have access, view, edit, delete, and more. I'll go over each one of these. Access is their ability to access the form, so to create new records. You could swap access with create. So we have create, view, edit, delete. So if they can create records, if they can view records, so which records are they able to view? And then here you're selecting which reports they're able to see. So you can think uh, within uh, application, you might have many different reports for any one module. Uh, tasks, for instance, we have all tasks, but we have my open tasks, my tasks, and so likely they this user would want to see uh, those other two reports. So that's view permissions. That would give this user access to view the records within these any one of these reports. Edit goes the same way with, if they have ability to edit the records within the report that they're able to view. Uh, so if you give them edit access, they will by default have view access as well, um, but you can give them additional access. Um, so maybe not always edit uh, for some reports, but for others, they, they might need to edit access. Same with delete. So which reports can they delete from? Uh, that is also separately controlled. And then last here we have within the more column, we have the ability to import, export, print, view all, modify all, create new record. Let me stop here. So view all and my modify all. Uh, this goes into the uh, record sharing abilities. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, but essentially, if you don't want them to be able to view all records, then you would make sure that this is not checked. If they are able to view all records, then you obviously would be able to check this and same with modify. Uh, so if you don't check these, then it's going to follow the role sharing and data sharing settings uh, that we'll talk about here in a second. So. Uh, this is one ability, one way to bypass uh, role sharing for, in this case, admins, um, but you don't have to. You, you can always just use role sharing settings to control this as well. Then we have uh, the ability to create new reports. 
So this would allow the user to create their own set of custom reports for this module. So uh, here, maybe they want to create a custom report for uh, future tasks. So they would be able to create that report and then uh, they would be able to share that report as well. Then we have read comments and write comments. So within Creator, you do have the ability to comment on a record. Users are able to see those comments. So this would give you the access, ability to read or write to the, uh, that particular module. Field permissions is a big one. So here, by default, the admin or the write uh, profile has access to everything. So if you, there was a field in here you did not want the user to see, or if it was read only, then you would be able to select or unselect these checkboxes. So maybe the user is not able to file upload, or maybe the file upload needs to be read only. Um, this is your ability to do that. It's important to know whenever you add a new field to the form inside of Creator, Always go back into your permission settings because you need to make sure that the visibility is set to enabled for any user that should be able to see it. Sometimes whenever you add a new field, it's not checked by default and that new field is not visible to the user. So that's one thing to, to know. This is field settings, uh, visibility and read only. You have that for all fields within the record. And then last settings you have as far as permissions go are API, so ability to access the database via API. Um, all of the permissions down here still apply to the API access. So if they're going to try to use an API call to access a particular record, uh, it does have to they, they do have to pass the qualification. So if they don't have access to that uh, report, then there will be an error message shown within that request. PII, uh, so here personally identifiable information, and then PHI, health information, uh, this would give them access to view that data. One, oh, I guess one thing I didn't really know is you can see we have a few different home here, for instance, doesn't have any view, edit, delete. Uh, that's because this is a page. So for any pages, uh, you can only give them access or no access. So pages work a little bit differently than forms. Uh, so just know that. Forms you give access to, and then pages you only give access uh, to. There's no reports associated to a page. Well, you can add reports to pages, but uh, getting down the uh, a little uh, side road there. Next, we have roles. Within roles, we have a hierarchy that we can create to share records within the organization. CEO is at the top by default. Em employee is the next one down, uh, but maybe you wanted to see manager uh, before you see employee. And then maybe employee needs to look up to manager. So that's how we can control the hierarchy. So how I did that is I just created a role and then from within any role, you can specify who it reports to. So for employee, the employee manage, employee role, it's gonna report to manager. Additionally, we can, we can set it to share data with peers. If we select it to share data with peers, then of course, it's going to share the data with peers. And peer is anyone who shares the same role type. So for other employees of, or for other users of uh, uh, role employee, those would be able to share records. Uh, the other thing to know is records always share up the chain. Uh, so if an employee creates in a record, creates a record, then anyone above the employee, so the manager or the CEO, they all have access to that record. Records do not share down the chain. So if a CEO or a manager creates a record, then the employee by default does not see that record. We can get around that by creating data sharing rules. 
to create specific rules to share records around uh, your organization and through this hierarchy that we create here. Because sometimes you might have a manager, a department, and then a department manager, and then a department employee, but you might have multiple departments. And so records might need to share between departments, uh, between different user sets, and it might not always flow so linearly. So to create custom rules, we go into data sharing, and here we can add a rule. So this would be uh, marketing, let's say marketing to sales. Um, we're going to share all tasks where the records from a particular role or role and subordinate so a role and subordinate would be the the rec the role and then whoever's underneath. So maybe if it's any of the records from roles. You know, to make this more, uh, let's create a few more. So marketing. And then we're going to create a Okay, so now we have two different departments, marketing and then manager. Let's call this development. And really these should be uh, role type titles, so development manager. So we have development managers, employees, marketing managers, and assistants. And let's say we want all of the records from assistants to share to employees. Why? I don't know, but there might be an instance why we might want that. So if we go into data sharing. We're going to add a role. So assistants to employees. Going to share uh, to role or from assistance to employee. If we chose roles and subordinates, then it would show, it would share any of the records from anyone else underneath assistant. So maybe if I chose marketing, then it would show from the entire marketing team to the entire development team. Level of access, we give them either read only or read and write permissions. Once we've created the uh, data sharing rule, now it lists, it exists here uh, on this list, and I can create additional role sharing permissions or data sharing permissions as well. That is how to modify record sharing settings. The last thing I wanted to say before we end, uh, it's actually a kind of an important thing and that's how to control the record owner. And to do that, we go into a form, open the form builder, click the three dots, sorry, click the settings icon. And then the record owner is the added user. So. It's always the added user by default, but you can come in here and actually change this to be any other user field on the record. So if we had another user field here, and I made this the assigned to, I could then set the record owner to be the assigned to that's uh, logged here. So that's uh, one other Quick note, quick tip, if you wanted to control uh, who the record is owned by, it, by default, it's always the added user, but you can create a new user field on the form to control the record owner. And then once it's assigned, all your rate, data sharing rules apply from there. If you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe below. 
Uh, we'll be creating more of these Zoho Creator tutorials. So uh, uh, put some comments down below and let us know what you want to know. And uh, we'll stay tuned. Thank you so much. Have a great day.